city boy Chip has been invited by his country cousins, the McDougals, to visit them on their farm. They were supposed to meet him at the station. Where are they? They must be very busy with farm chores, thought Chip. Batty and Cookie McDougal lived on the old McFay farm, owned and operated by farmer Chundo McFay. It was a big farm with many barns and fields and pastures where cows could graze and wander about. Chip set off to find the farm. The McDougals had said it was just a mile from the station. Which way? This way? No, maybe this way. He wasn't sure. There's a cow, he thought. I must be getting close. Hello, is this the McFay farm? Asked Chip. This is the McFay farm, all right. Yep, it is. E-I-E-I-O. And I am farmer Chundo McFay. You're getting Jake, help me down. What's your name? Chip, he replied. Chip, what kind of wacky name is that? Bless my ketchup bottle. You must be the city boy the McDougals were kept telling me about. Hot diggity. Giddy. Giggity. Chip liked Farmer Chundo. He was tall and friendly and a little hard to understand. <laughs> Farmer Chuno seated himself on the big red tractor and started up with the crank. It made a lot of noise. So the McDibbles tell me you want to be a farmer. You, we like, do you like vegetables? Do you like broccoli? Green beans, pepper, squash, and that sort of thing? Well, then hop on when the McDibbles are out in the big field planting the garden. Lickety, clickety, and off they rode over the hill and down to the big field to find the McDibbles. Hi Chip, said Daddy. Hi Chip, said Crookie. Sorry we couldn't meet you at the station. We had to pick up seed and, and supplies. We're gonna make a vegetable garden. It'd be fun. We sure could use some help. There's a wheelbarrow over there, said Batty. And here's a shovel, said Crookie. Okay, said Chip good naturedly. Let's see, peas and carrots are along this row here and broccoli there. Cucumbers over here and tomatoes back there. Or maybe the other way around, said Crookie. What about squash, said Batty. Squash is okay, but I prefer watermelons, said Crookie. Chip tugged the garden, carved away all the heavy rocks with the wheelbarrow and set up the fence. The McDougals planted the seeds. Hippity ho, nice work, youngsters, said Farmer Chundo. Now make sure you give your garden plenty of water. Chundo just told the youngsters that planting was just the beginning. To grow a healthy vegetables, keep in mind the four W's. Watering, weeding, and wading. That's only three, said Chip. Whatever, said Farmer Chundo. Oh, said Chip. Watering, weeding, wading, and whatever. Farmer Chundo showed them what they could expect to see in their little garden if they cared for it properly. These little seeds would grow into big watermelons, giant cauliflower, jumbo, tomatoes, long green beans, and huge peas. Chip wondered when he could begin weeding. I hear cows are calling, said Charmer Chundo. How'd you like to milk a cow, Chip? I like milk, said Chip. Farmer Chundo drove everyone over the cow barn on his tractor. When they got there, the McDougals sat right down to enjoy a carton of fresh milk from their prize cow. Mmm, milk, said Batty. Mmm, milk, said Crookie. Which cow should I milk, asked Chip. There's more milk than milk and cows than milk and cows, said Farmer Chundo. 
Chip and Farmer Chundo went into the barn to clean the stalls. Chip was a little afraid the cows were really big. After a big lunch at the farmhouse, Farmer Chundo left the tr trio back out to the big field. The hay needs mowing, said Farmer Chundo. Batty and Crookie showed Chip how to use the mower. You just push, said Batty, and just keep pushing, said Crookie. And pushing. Meanwhile, the McDougals went down to the pond to check on the ducks. They decided to check on the fish, too. Chip continued to mow and mow and mow. And mow, 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 mow. Later that afternoon, Farmer Chundo was pitching hay when he heard a strange sound. Bumblebees? Solomon? What's that noise? Exhausted from mowing, Chip had fallen asleep in a nice, soft pile of hay. He was very comfortable. Wake up, youngster. Chippity ch cricket. No time for naps on the farm. Crows in the corn, cr cows in the barn or something. There are still some more chores to do. Here, Chip. Put on my hat. I still don't see any crow, said Chip. He's doing a good job, said Batty. Chip looks really scary, said Crookie. Chip had, had no idea that farming was such a work, hard work. He was very tired. Now it was time for him to pack a suitcase and go back to the city. Packity pack, off so soon, my boy, said Farmer Chundo. Goodbye, Farmer Chundo. Goodbye, Batty and Crookie. I've learned a lot from farming. Thank you. Goodbye, Chip. Come back soon, said Batty. Yes, come back soon, said Crookie. Two days later, the McDougals received, along with some bills, a letter from Chip. It read, Dear Batty and Crookie and Farmer Chundo, thank you for letting me visit you on your farm. There's a lot more to farming than I realized. My Uncle Dizzy has given me a job at his nightclub. Please come visit me in the city if you're not too busy with farm chores. Yours truly, Chip. Yes, how's the garden? Any weeds? Don't forget to water or whatever.